Okay, so now this is a response to the video Christian vs. Atheist just posted by Jacqueline Glenn. Now, a lot of you get take issue with me when I keep score and you go, I can't be scared to take it there. you like to keep score, did you? Now, there's a reason I keep score. And this time, I'm going to score it all for the atheist. Yeah. Score it maybe 100 to 0 in favor of Jacqueline. Because that was an absurd, it wasn't even really a debate. And you should watch the video. It's a little long, but it's kind of interesting. She talks about her past. Um, that part's kind of interesting. She was raised in a Christian family, or uh, maybe I think she said a Catholic family. But it was so frustrating to watch. About halfway through the video, the preacher guy, I'm not even, he, he starts gay bashing. And he starts trying to pin her down on these absurd, I'm not even 100% sure what he was going for. But he starts trying to pin her down on like, so when the gay community is, you know, trying to get a Christian to bake a cake and then they sue them, is that evil? And it was so strange and it was so like jarring and disorienting. And so I score it, let's just get this out of the way, 100 to 0. Or let's say 80 to 0, 80 to 20. For Jacqueline, for the atheist in that particular back and forth. I mean, I'm not even sure what that guy was going for. See, here's the thing. She's, she's one of the bigger YouTube atheists as far as I know. She's got a pretty big audience. And this guy, I, nobody knows who this preacher is. And he's got a chance to, you know, really sit down and have an open discussion with somebody and maybe, you know, witness or plant some seeds with some of her audience or who knows. But he, he just, like, totally blew it. Because he had some sort of weird axe to grind or some sort of weird agenda. And now the reason I want to talk about it is because this is why I started to do what I'm doing. Because seeing things like that started to get really exasperating for me. You know, Christianity is very important to me. That is why I'm doing what I'm doing. But to see it debased like that and sort of not presented correctly to a fairly big audience. I mean, I saw the views on her. On that video alone was something like 20,000. And here this guy has an opportunity to, you know, at least demonstrate, at least demonstrate some positive aspect of Christianity. If you're not going to like, you know, if you're not, people aren't gonna, necessarily going to see this and go, ah, oh, I get it now. Jesus is the Lord. I'm, I'm in. You know, obviously. But at least you can demonstrate at least like the love of Jesus or some sort of positive aspect of Christianity. Give You know, we're supposed to be ambassadors for Christ. So if you're an ambassador sitting down with a representative from the other party and then that representative is a fairly prominent one with a fairly big audience, you kind of go out of your way to be diplomatic. You know, to bring up things we're going to agree on, to bring up things that bring up aspects of Christianity that she might go, yeah, well, I, I get that. That's true. You know, Jesus says to love your neighbor. I'm down with that. There's a lot of areas where you could find common ground. And this guy just had some weird acts to grind. And it bothers me to watch that because, because it's, it misrepresents everything that Christianity is about. So I just want any atheist to know this. Okay? I am not in favor of what that guy did. That is not what I am about. That is not what Christianity is about. That does not represent adequately. And may, and I don't know who the terrible atheists are, who the lousy atheists who go on, on YouTube and like, you know, say stupid garbage. But I'm sure it must be frustrating to you as an atheist to see somebody completely misrepresent what you are about. Well, it was painful to me to watch that. And I score the entire thing for Jacqueline. And, you know, I don't score anything for him. Because he completely misrepresented Christianity, and that's not what Christianity is about. So, there's that. That's, that's where we're at.